All right, now that we're doing the Simu Lock um, from every position, basically, like all the details and everything, now we're going to learn from some different some counters, off some guard passes, and uh, all that kind of stuff, okay? So a lot of times, the Simu Lock, I mean, like, I show you guys the most simple way of just grabbing it and just placing it in my stomach, right? But uh, actually, a lot of times, when someone plays guard on the bottom, um, it's going to be easy to counter their guard, uh, their guard attacks with this Simu Lock. Because a lot of times, in, in Jiu-Jitsu, when a person on the bottom is playing guard, you need distance. Like uh, most of jiu-jitsu, most of guards in jiu-jitsu require distance and like feet on the hip, feet on the stomach, you know, you need to create that distance all the time. So that's where, that's where we're going to focus on attacking right now, okay? So the first one we're going to use uh, is going to be the leg drag, okay? And uh, I'm going to show you guys two different ways that I'm using leg drag to, to attack this thing lock, okay? So the first one, I'm kind of like going to do a leg drag, a little like, like, like half ass, I'm going to call it, but uh, I'm not going to like really commit to the leg drag, okay? I'm just going gonna, gonna to do that just, just to get this reaction from him. And then I'm gonna show you guys two different reactions that you can have that I can attack this team lock off. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do like a very simple leg drag. A lot of people like to leg drag, like grabbing the the pant and pulling it over and all this stuff. But the way I like the leg drag is kind of like a nogi leg drag. It's like more like a speed one. And I do it on purpose for him to have, kind of have this reaction as well. Is that I'm gonna step in right, have a little heave right here, and I'm just gonna tap. His his uh I'm like a, like a top leg drag so my right my right hand is gonna go on his knee inside knee and my left hand is gonna go on the outside of his ankle right here so I'm literally gonna drop my hips I'm gonna do a little tap and leg drag right here okay so as I do that leg drag I'm not gonna put pressure here okay I'm kind of like I'm gonna let him recover his guard and I'm gonna try to catch his foot uh, as he's recovering the that leg that that got leg drag okay so the first one I'm here. I tap, as I tap, he brings his leg back exactly to, to defend the guard pass. I'm going to attack the, the swing lock right here. So look, I'm here, I'm passing his guard. He pulls his leg back. As he pulls his leg back, look, my left hand comes through, grabs my bicep, grabs his shin. Once you're here, we do everything we learn the same. Step through, step through, right behind his leg. Attack. I can step through here. Attack here. We can fall down, but... Finishes, you guys, you guys know all the finishes. We're just gonna go over the setups right now. Okay, so one more time. I'm here, I'm passing his guard, pulls it back. And that's gonna happen almost every time. If you don't really commit to the leg drive, he's just gonna pull his knee back. Like it's a pretty normal, it's a pretty natural reaction. So look, I'm here, pulls his knee back, look, my left hand goes through, grabs my bicep, grabs my shin. And once I'm here, remember, I step through, I can do like the basic one right here. Lift my left elbow, drop my right one, get that rotation, and I finish this seam lock right there. Okay, a little quicker, full speed. All right, guys. Sometimes when we're countering a, a, a guard pass, it's not gonna be perfect. Like the seam lock, like I'm not gonna get it like right above my belt every time. Okay, as long as I have some part of my body. That's like that's that's per, that that that's like putting pressure on top of his foot. I'm gonna be able to get that rotation. Sometimes I do a leg drag. It's so quick. I get it. I get it like on the side of my rib. I get it like almost my chest. It's still gonna work. Okay, it's not gonna be as effective, but I'm obviously gonna wanna adjust it. But it's not wrong to do it there as well. You know, sometimes I'm gonna grab it right here on my chest or here. Look, I can still finish it. No problem. You know, definitely not as effective as. Down here, this is like a different different story, but if I grab it here, you know, it's not wrong to just try to hit that rotation and try to finish right there. 